Uh, we are taking a live look at what is now Harry Reid International. Of course, a name change becoming official today. And 13 Action News reporter Alyssa Bethencourt was there for the ceremony now, and it has more on how the new name will be rolled out. McCarran, no more. The airport here in Las Vegas, officially now known as Harry Reid International. We saw that ceremony wrap up here just a few moments ago. Several elected officials and community leaders made it out to celebrate the change and mark this historic moment. Back in February, Clark County commissioners voted unanimously to change the name of the airport, saying that the legacy of the late Nevada Senator Pat McCarran no longer reflects the Las Vegas that we know and love today. McCarran, who served as a representative of the Silver State from 1933 to 1954, is credited with helping shape the air industry as we know it today. But some say he also left behind a legacy of racism, xenophobia, and anti-Semitism. Instead, county commissioners chose Nevada's longest-running senator, Harry Reid, to be the airport's new namesake. My dad was born in a two-room shack in a lonely spot in the southern Nevada desert. All he had was a work ethic and a small circle of people that loved him. Despite that, he rose. He became a prominent national political figure unlike any other in Nevada's history. And the Reed family is eternally grateful because this ensures that those two narratives, that of my father, Harry Reed, and of this city, Las Vegas, will be inextricably linked um, in our community's future. So thank you very much for this honor. A thousand times thank you. Now, while the name change will be official this morning, it could take years to change things like the signs that you're looking at and monuments. However, you can see changes on digital platforms as soon as today. Elizabeth Court, 13 Action News.